In this video, I want to show you how to simplify high powers of i. So i is our imaginary number, and it's equal to the square root of negative 1. And here in my problem, I have i to the 623. So that definitely needs to be simplified. Now, one of my favorite ways for simplifying large powers like this is to basically look at lower powers of i and see if we can establish a pattern. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at some of those lower powers. So i to the first power is basically i i squared is a negative 1, i to the third is negative i, and i to the fourth is 1. Now if I go higher than that, the interesting thing is that this pattern of four numbers actually repeats itself. So i to the fifth is i, i to the sixth is negative 1, i to the seventh would give me a negative i, and i to the eighth gives me a 1. So again, you can see that pattern of four numbers just repeats. And it continues on like this. Now, if I want to know what i to the 623 is, that helps me out a little bit. But you can see that I'd have to go for quite some time before I ever reach 623. So what I basically want to know now is, where does 623 fall in my pattern? Well, to do this, I can examine the remainders. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the remainder of all these when it's divided by 4. And that may not seem very interesting, but watch what happens when I take all of the exponents, divide them by 4, and just check out the remainder. So 1 divided by 4 has a remainder of 1. 2 divided by 4 has a remainder of 2. 3 divided by 4, a remainder of 3, and 4 divided by 4, a remainder of 0. Let's see, 5 divided by 4, a remainder of 1, 6 divided by 4, a remainder of 2, 7 divided by 4, a remainder of 3, and 8 divided by 4, a remainder of 0. So the remainders have that same pattern, only it goes 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0. We can use this to figure out where 623 is. The way we do that is basically the same way. Take the power, divide it by 4, and then find out what the remainder is. Let's do that. 623 divided by 4. So 4 goes into 6 once. Subtract it away, we'll get a 2. Bring down the other 2. See, 4 goes into 22 5 times. That'll give us a 20. Subtract that away, I'll get a 2, and bring down my 3. So 4 goes into 23 five times. And then I'm just left with 3, so 3 is my remainder. That's the important number. So if we look at our pattern, 3 is associated with a negative i. So if I want to simplify i to the 623, I know it is simply negative i, just like that. And you can use that for any power of i that you want. Just divide it by 4 and look at the remainder. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.